Hey guys, Miss Marcus here, and as you can see, FIFA World Cup quarter finals Argentina versus Germany. Of course, having dispatched um, Belgium in the last 16 round, going to this team, we're well, well, going with Germany, a relatively decent side, going up against, of course, one of the best sides in the game of Argentina. And of course, there will be both national anthems because both Argentina and Germany national anthems are in the game. So, with that being said, look at my team nice team Muller, Draxler, Cruz, Gutza, I think ends up not coming on, but also does play Schweinsteiger, Kadira at the midfield too. So, that being said, Messi, of course, has to be stopped in this game. He's playing an attacking midfield role, and I actually played in the away kit, the red and black striped uh, horizontal kit, which is quite nice, but again, a bit unrealistic playing in Konami Stadium, but with that being said, FIFA World Cup quarter final match, Argentina, there he is, Lionel Messi, Philip Lam, of course, captain for Germany, and here are the national anthems. So yes, both national anthems there, Higuain shaking hands, he'll be quite vital in this game if Argentina are hoping to get past the quarter-final match. And there you see Sergio Romero in goal, Garay, Campagnaro, Otamendi, Marcos Rojo, Messi, Lucas Biglia, Eva Menega, Lovetsi, Higuain and Sergio Aguero. There I believe that's Campagnaro talking to Marcos Rojo. I believe, I'm, sh I'm not sure because Marcos Rojo of course is not a real face. But with that being said, of course the Germany side with the likes of Lamb, Schmelzer, Kadira, Schweinsteiger, Kruz, Ozil, Draxler and Müller. So of course Thomas Müller has scored, he's, I think he's the top goal scorer at the current moment in the World Cup. He scored like four goals which is quite impressive. But with that being said, kick off with the Brazuca ball and Argentina to kick off. So Higuain to Lovetsi. So Campanaro, of course, the likes of um, Argentina will be of course trying to keep the ball in small possession. But 11 minutes have passed and not a lot has happened. Draxler here on the ball trying to get past, oh man he gets a shot away and it's a good save from the goalkeeper Sergio Romero. It was on target but it's a relatively simple save for the goalkeeper, a goalkeeper of his standard especially playing in I believe it's Serie A if I'm, if I'm correct. I think he, he's on loan from someone if I don't remember where but anyway trying Schreiber to take the corner kick, hang it into of course an air post where Thomas Moore has scored a relative amount of his goals. It's an easy header, I believe it's from Messi Ozil, it goes straight to Sergio Romero who will of course try and go on the counter attack. So Argentina, not a lot of really happened in this game, to be fair. Ozo here on the ball, trying to get past Lucas Biglia. Can't get past to Messi here on the run, running past per Mertesacker. Nice little bit of skill. Mertesacker does come back and just pushes him off the ball nice and easily from the big German. So with Ozo, of course, on the ball, he's trying to... Germany, of course, are trying to dominate play here, but of course, it's hard to really about stopping Messi for Argentina. Messi and Aguero are basically their main two people to stop. If they can stop them, they can stop. They can easily win this match, and of course, they just need to score against Sergio Romero, which shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, he's a decent goalkeeper, but with that being said, I think Ozo and likes of Noah and whatnot can probably penetrate their defences and penetrate his clean sheet. So they are a nice little play from Germany, just playing it about, trying to keep possession, just trying to slow the game down a bit, not not too fast now, as they try and get forward here, Cruz on the ball, plays a nice ball out wide to Messi Ozo, Ozo running at Marcus Rojo, tries to get a shot away but it's blocked and Sergio Romero has possession. 
It's coming up to half time here, as you can see, Draxler on the ball trying to get it back. Kadira eventually does get back. Muller here, one minute added on. Muller for shot, it's a good strike, but the referee has pulled it back for a free kick on the edge of the box, as you can see here. Me, personally, it's not a really free kick, it doesn't really touch Muller. Muller sort of just goes flying through the air, but of course, Messi Ozil standing over this free kick. Dangerous position for Germany. As you can see here, Ozil hits it and Ozil has scored. It's a nice easy free kick for Messi Ozil, the Arsenal man. Popping it into the top corner, Serge Romero can do nothing about it as Messi Ozil scores 1-0 to Germany in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. It's a very nice free kick to be fair. It's a nice, nice enough power just going over the wall, going over, dip nice over and under, over the wall and under of course the crossbar. So with that being said, 1-0 Germany. So at halftime, like I said, 1-0 to Germany against Argentina. Not really much has happened. I mean, Germany have done, as you can see, 11 shots, 4 on target and 62% possession. So in the, into the late second half here, as you can see, 82 minutes on the clock. Schweinsteiger steals it back, gets it to Tony Cruz. Cruz skins past Campagnaro, takes an extra little small touch and just pops it into the bottom corner for a second goal for Germany and a 2-0 lead for the Germans against the Argentinians. So a nice, easy, probably most likely victory for Germany against Argentina in the FIFA World Cup quarterfinals. Who they'll of course be going to the semi-finals. I believe it's between Italy or Spain they will face in the semi-finals, and we of course won't know until until the end of the match who they will be facing. But it's a nice little bit of skill from Tony Cruz as he skins past Campagnaro, just takes it past Marcus Rojo for some reason, doesn't really close him down, and it's a nice composed finish from the Bayern Munich midfielder. So with that being said, it's four minutes added on the end of the four minutes, as you can see here. Draxler here will he take a touch? He just goes for a strike from about 45 yards out. It's an easy save for Romero, who will just probably kick it forward. And up, oh, he throws it out to Otamendi, but that's basically the end of the game. The referees, fans are asking for it. Referee has obliged, and it was the final score 2-0 between Germany and Argentina. As you can see, Argentina only had three shots, one on target. All of that which happened in the second half. Germany, of course, had six shots in the second half, two of which were on target. So that being said, man of the match went to Tony Cruz of Bayern Munich. So as you can see, Netherlands beat Japan 4-2, France got beat by Algeria 1-0, Spain and Italy 2-2 in the full time after extra time and penalties, Italy have gone through. So in the next match, it will be Germany versus Italy. So if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for more and catch you later.